And this is one of the, the, the um, photographs that Lorraine loves to explain to you. And now we get to the pedigrees mm. that she will go into for you. You know, Colin, I'm a life sciences teacher, but I always believe one should know as much as possible about as much as possible. And I love history. And for some reason, specifically the old English kings and, and all their stories. But let's have a look at the picture. It is a painting of quite a young Queen Victoria. Now you know Queen Victoria reigned for 60 years and uh, she ruled Britain and sort of the empire for 60 years um, and, and she died sort of a few years after the English war. But this is her husband Bertie and five of their kids. Now they had a lot more. Let's see how many kids they had. I don't count all of those blocks, remember? I wonder if they can count the, the, the children yeah. that Victoria and Albert had. Yeah. Can you give us maybe an indication of how many children? There's the queen. Because this is one of the things that you need to analyze, and this is you must know what a pedigree is. So this is now a very complicated pedigree, and you're not going to get one that is as complicated as this. But it's simply to tell you that we can do a complicated one by looking at our family. Now there you've got, you only look at those lines to look at the children. So there is one, and remember the circles are females. One, two, three, four, five daughters. And one, two, three, four sons. If you look at Queen um, Victoria was a carrier of the hemophilia gene. They're not quite sure where it started, but it was a recent mutation. If you look at her daughter, Alice was a carrier, and she brought that gene into, she gave it to her daughter, Alex, who married Nicholas, the Tsar of Russia, and who was murdered with his family in, during the Russian Revolution. And Alexis, the crown prince, or the Tsarevich, as they were called, was also a hemophiliac. Remember? Boys are sufferers, women are carriers. Leopold was a sufferer. Now he got married, he got quite old, and he died relatively uh, um, young. He had a daughter who was a carrier, and we know that because she had a boy, that was Mary. She had a boy who died. The other girls they don't know of. Beatrice took her uh, um, gene, her carrier gene, into the Portuguese um, royal house and also in the Spanish royal house. And there you have them. And quite by chance, the one that was the ancestor of the current King Juan Carlos was a non-sufferer boy. Okay, he can't be a carrier, but he was the 50-50 chance he was healthy. And if you look here, just to end this, because this is very interesting, but this is the history that we can see from a pedigree like this. Um, the current royal family do not have the gene because they happen to be ancestors of, there you can see, from both sides. There you can see. Um, we don't know about that, but it was a healthy man and most probably not a carrier. Okay. But enough of that before I get carried away, talking about carriers. Now let's do a little exercise here. Colin, you will take yeah. us through it. And I hope they will help me, yeah? And um, I think the two of us can do this together so that they can look at the genotypes of what um, a normal male and male with hemophilia and carrier females look like. Um, maybe we should number the, these one, two, and three, and then they can help us. So. If we must give the genotype of a normal male, what will it what what can we put into these squares? One, two, and three. Um, as soon as I'll start off, can just I, remember. Can I give you a tip? Yes. Remember, hemophilia is a recessive characteristic. Okay, so let's continue. Yes, Sorry, I think. Colin, they, yeah, I just no, no problem. And I think them. they can see it there as well. Yeah. So I'll do the first one. A normal male has an X chromosome and a normal X chromosome and his Y chromosome. Right. A man with hemophilia, because he has one X chromosome, he must have the affected chromosome and his Y chromosome. 
Met ander woorde, hy die ex met die recessieve geen op en dan sy gewone ei chromosoom. Right, females, they have two X chromosomes and since she is normal, she must look like that. Mm. A female carrier, one normal chromosome and one ah, with a hemophilia gene. Probleem, ja. And a female with hemophilia, a sufferer, must have both recessive alleles ah. and to be affected. Net iets interessant, Karin, ek weet nie of die leders daar buiten geweet het nie, maar dat hierdie laaste voorbeeld van jou, is eindelijk 99,99% wil ek amper sê, sterf daar die um, vrouwelijke individuee met beide hemofile gene, baie vroeg, terwijl hulle amper nog een embryo is. Hmm. So, it's, I was going to say, it's extremely rare that you will find a woman with hemophilia. You, you can say, um, for statistically, that they die before birth. En dit loops, um, ons praat nou so van hemofilia, um, Ek wonder of ons leders vir ons kan deersteer, wat is die symptome van, van hemofilie? Wat, wat moet hulle toon? Wat is symptome toon hulle?